Have you been keeping up with your summer beach bod or the dad bod? Watch this video to see which celebrities have had the craziest weight gains and weight loss. We're starting off this list with Christian Bale for the movie American Hustle. He had to gain 43 pounds for the role of a balding con man, going from 185 to 228. He said that he was eating everything from donuts to cheeseburgers to whatever he could get his hands on. Gaining 43 pounds in a few months would be so tough because that's a ton of food and your body probably starts saying, what the f after the first 20 pounds. Way back in 2003, Charlize Theron put on 30 pounds for her role in Monster. That may not sound like a lot, but you have to realize that gaining 30 pounds when you're 118 pounds, that's a lot of weight. She says she ate a lot of donuts and chips for the role, which doesn't sound that bad. According to her, she really wasn't trying to get fat for the role since the character wasn't fat, but she was just emulating the lifestyle of the character. Charlize ended up not looking anything like the usual glamorous pretty girl roles she's used to playing. The movie was critically acclaimed, and she won an Oscar for the role of serial killer Eileen Wuornos, so I'm sure she was happy with the effort. Edward Norton put on a lot of weight for his role as a neo-Nazi racist in American History X. He supposedly put on 25 pounds of muscle for the role, which I actually doubt is all muscle, but still impressive anyways. Norton was amazing in the movie, and he earned a nomination for an Academy Award, but ultimately lost out. A little known fun fact here. The film almost didn't make it to the public because the director, Tony Kay, wasn't happy with the final cut of the movie and tried to stop its release and have his name removed from the film. He even went as far as suing the film studio for releasing the movie. Gerard Butler took it to the next level when you portrayed King Leonidas for the movie 300. You went from looking like this to looking like this. This took four months of training and he often went through four to six hour workouts a day to achieve that look. His personal trainer wanted him to look like a warrior, so he had him doing a lot of different compound movements. Here's the famous 300 workout that the actors did. 25 pull-ups, 50 deadlifts with 135 pounds, 50 push-ups, 50 reps of 24 inch box jumps, 50 floor wipes, which is an ab exercise, 50 clean impresses with a 36 pound kettlebell, and 25 more pull-ups, and all that was done as fast as possible. And that's just part of the workout. Let's just say the workout paid off because King Leonidas definitely didn't look like someone you wanted to f with. The Fresh Prince had a lot to live up to to play one of the greatest boxers ever, with him playing Muhammad Ali, and he definitely didn't disappoint. Smith put on 35 pounds from 185 to 220. He trained for five days a week, six hours a day, which included lifting weights and lots of boxing. His bench went from 175 pounds to 365 pounds in close to a year's worth of training to be like Ali. In addition to looking the part, he also pretty much nailed the part for acting like Ali. Smith was nominated for an Academy Award for the film. In order to get into character as a guy who's been infected with HIV, Matthew McConaughey had to lose around 47 pounds to look the part. He said he started losing his eyesight when he dropped to about 147 pounds. What? He also said that he'd get sore after doing five sit-ups, and he had trouble running 30 feet. He said the toughest part was filling the day with things to do since he was sleeping three hours less a night. He did say he enjoyed the experience because he had to learn new ways of entertaining himself since it was a whole lot of not eating and socializing. He read and wrote a lot, and the whole experience was supposedly a really fun adventure. Well, I guess next time I get bored out of my mind, I'll try this experience, not. One of my favorite rappers, 50 Cent, decided to pay tribute to one of his childhood friends who died of cancer by portraying him in a movie. 50 dropped 54 pounds in nine weeks, from 214 to 160. Whoa, nine weeks. He did this by running on a treadmill for three hours a day and be on a liquid diet. Now that's something that I'm never gonna do. No thanks. 50's actually dropped below 160 before. This is because back in 2000, he was shot in the jaw and could only drink liquids. Learn from 50. Don't get shot in the jaw. Actually, just don't get shot in general. For Castaway, Tom Hanks had to first put on around 40 pounds in order to look like a workaholic middle-aged engineer from Memphis, Tennessee. Production was then scheduled to stop for a year, so Hanks could lose that weight and then some. 
Hanks ended up losing 55 pounds in four months in order to look like a dude stranded on an island for four years. His plan was really simple, which was two hours a day of working out and then a very strict diet of vegetables, water, and fish. He said, the hardest thing was the time. I wish I could have just taken a pill and lost all that weight. Uh, no sh**. Isn't that what everyone wants? Anyways, gaining 40 pounds and then losing 55 pounds just so you can be filmed being best friends with a volleyball? Add that to my list of things I'm never doing. For his role in Warrior, where he played a jacked MMA fighter, Tom Hardy had to train eight hours a day to get prepped for the role. He trained boxing for two hours, Muay Thai for two hours, then had two hours of choreography and two hours of lifting. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's pretty insane. You went from 162 pounds to about 185, all while keeping a body fat percentage that's relatively low. He complained of having to eat nothing but chicken and broccoli for the shoot, and how he didn't understand how professional athletes go through with only eating clean food. Pfft. What about all the regular guys who eat stuff like that all day, and they don't get paid for it? To show the inside scoop in the world of professional wrestling, Mickey Rourke had to put on about 27 pounds of muscle for the wrestler. What makes this extremely impressive is the fact that he did it as a 55 year old. Of course, having muscle when you were younger definitely helps a lot, because you don't just put on 27 pounds of muscle in your 50s. Rourke used to be a professional boxer, and he looked like he definitely had some muscle back then. He basically worked out hard for 7.5 months and ate like a bodybuilder, eating 6 to 7 meals a day. But it's still hard to put that type of muscle on, even if you've had it before. What do you guys think? Think he touched the roids? At number 5, we have Jake Gyllenhaal transforming himself for Southpaw. Jake Gyllenhaal doesn't exactly look like the type who is gifted with a natural build. How exactly did he do it? Every day he did 2,000 push-ups, ran anywhere from 3 to 8 miles, and did work in the ring to learn how to properly box. He basically did two workouts a day, every day, for five months. Wow. Gyllenhaal went from a skinny 147 pounds to a built 175 pounds in just six months. I'm definitely impressed with the dedication he had to put in, and obviously the results. In the movie, he definitely looked and moved like a boxer. Robert De Niro first had to train to get into shape for the epic movie, Raging Bull. Then he gained 60 pounds to play the boxer, Jake LaMotta, in his darkest hours. De Niro first went into a full-on training routine for a year as a boxer, and actually competed in three organized boxing matches, winning two of them. Jake LaMotta himself trained De Niro, so I'm not surprised that he was able to actually win not just one, but two matches. After gaining about 20 pounds getting into training shape, De Niro then went on a grand tour of fine European dining to gain 60 pounds in four months. The director, Martin Scorsese, was extremely concerned with De Niro's health, since he gained the weight in only four months. 60 pounds sounds pretty ridiculous, right? That brings us to the next guy in the countdown. 60 pounds not enough? How about 67 pounds? That's the amount of weight that Jared Leto put on for his role in Chapter 27. Try walking around with a 65 pound dumbbell and see how well you get around. Or just try a 30 pound dumbbell. This is what makes Nero and Leto's weight gain so ridiculous. In order to gain all that weight, Leto microwaved pints of ice cream mixed with soy sauce and olive oil. What? I understand the olive oil, but soy sauce? That doesn't sound appetizing at all. All of a sudden weight gain put a lot of pressure on Leto's body. He ended up getting gout, which is basically arthritis caused by high levels of uric acid. He also ended up in a wheelchair because of the gout and the sudden increase in stress associated with the weight gain. He said he'd never do it again, which I'm going to say is a good idea. Christian Bale makes it back on this list with his role in The Machinist. He dropped down to 121 pounds for the role, which means he lost 65 pounds along the way. To get down to 121 pounds, he ate only an apple and a can of tuna a day. That and a lot of cigarettes. The funny thing is, Christian Bale actually didn't need to lose all that weight. The scriptwriter was only 5'6", so he put in his own weight in the script for scenes where the main character writes his weight on the wall. I'm guessing he did this because he didn't know who was going to play the role. Christian Bale decided he wanted a challenge and decided to keep the weight anyways. He actually wanted to lose even more weight, but doctors told him he could die if he lost even 5 more pounds. <sighs> Talk about dying to get apart. And now, we're at number 1, 
for the best celebrity transformation on our countdown. But first, hit that subscribe button. At number one, we have Christian Bale, again. You know why? Because he's the master at gaining and losing weight. What did Christian Bale need to do right after he lost over 60 pounds? Oh, nothing. Just gain back all the weight he lost and then some for the best superhero franchise out there. He went from 121 pounds to 230 pounds for Batman Begins. A weight gain of over 100 pounds in just six months. He actually gained too much weight to look like Bruce Wayne and had to lose 40 pounds. Lose 65 pounds, then gain 109 pounds, then lose 40 pounds. Just insane. Here's what's next. A Gyarados sighting in Hong Kong. 